hi guys welcome to my channel welcome to my channel this is pv as you know in this channel we used to drop daily analysis on boom and crash and step index uh if you are watching this channel kindly subscribe to this channel and click on the notification button to notify you when next i drop my next video and uh, you can also like and comment on this video you can also try what i want to teach you guys today and uh, comment on the comment section tell us your experience with it and how far it has helped you in trading boom and crash and uh, also you can also join our telegram link is is in the description of the video you can join it so today guys uh, i'm going to introduce to you a strategy a strategy that helped me to take my trade every time you know um there's this technical analysis that i used to join that you i want you guys also to learn how to draw it and uh, with the help of my powerful indicator i can predict and i can see what the next move is in the market so you guys um uh, the first thing we have to do in setting up a, a technical analysis is for us to identify all the weak areas in the in the market all the weak areas that the price himself have show us you know it's like this area this area if you see the trade now you see the market now you see we have our weak area at this level which is going to help us to identify our supports and resistance zone you see uh every the price we keep on moving and it keep on giving us a rejection side and it's going to give us a what a support areas so what are we going to do now as you can see this is been 1000 on one hour time frames you have to first identify your market in high time frames so i'm going to identify my home now in one hour time frames so this is the highest currently now in the price movement so i'm going to identify that particular area so that uh anytime i have my trade on that area i know that it, did, it is possible for that particular trade to was to reverse back on this so let me first draw that one out for you guys to see you see so we have the we have the our triangle at there at that areas so it indicates to us that any price that is coming along this particular side now if you have any market reach this particular level it is uh it is it is 90 percent that the market might what my push back so we well, let's check for another weak area that we discover we see we have another weak area here we have another weak area here so let's mark that area also so we are going to link them together with the new current market let's check that okay we have this okay let's see so you just the way i'm doing it now you can also do it in your home chart for you to identify what next in the market you see uh so i'll be able to what uh, to identify my support areas and my rejection so you see the markets move down on a little bit at this month at this level and it spike up to this level it set down back and it give us a what a lower range back at this level it keep on moving because we have a what a strong support at this level also you will see now we are because we are having a what a rejection zone uh, that is very common at this level but we are not dealing with that now because we want to see what the market is saying currently now you see it keep on moving it keep on moving from this side it move back to this trend and uh, it give us a what a, a it give us a what a spike that reach this support level so uh in my indicator in that indicator i'm going to show you in this video it helped me to identify any time when there is going to be a breakout in the what in the market especially like this it's going to indicate to me that uh there's a there's going to be a breakout so immediately i know that this particular market is breaking out on this particular uh support level is going to be at this side so i quickly target my market because i know that there is going to be a, a breakout on the uptrend on the uptrend move you see so it's moved to this particular area and keep on selling down to this level which is going to be our level back here uh, on this support level and it keep on giving us a what a zigzag uh, price which it keep on moving 
before giving us a what a down trade so we are not going to be taking our trade in one hour time frames so we are going to be taking it in five minutes and 15 minutes that is the best two time frames i can recommend for you guys so always try to take your trade in five minute time frames and in 15 minute time frames so let's go to 15 minute time frames and check what is happening in 15 minute time frames stay tuned with this video because at the at the end of this video i'm going to show you that powerful indicator uh, that powerful indicator that really helped me a lot to achieve a lot of things in what in trading boom and crash and uh, it's very easy for me to easily know what next in the market you see you see now currently now we are having our price like this because we are being analyzed it on uh, one hour time frames and what do you think that uh we can do now you see the market keep on moving on a downtrend and keep on giving us a zigzag move here before it break out this particular zone so when it break out this particular zone what do we do we have to analyze it on our home side so let's look for all the weak area that we see all the rejection zone that we see on uh, on uh, 15 minute time frames so we have a rejection at this particular side so which we are going to be use our trend line to identify here you see so we have identified that let's check for the uh for the down area also maybe we are going to find another one yes we have another one you see now the market have already cleared himself for you that we is having a what a down world trend so let me zoom in for you guys to, to see let me zoom in for you guys to see so that you guys can see very well you see okay yes we have the clear we have the clear view now we have the clear view now so uh, as you can see the market keep on moving on the support level before it break down onto this move so i always told you guys if you have checked some of my view, previous video that uh anytime you have a rejection zone at this particular support it's going to be a support zone for what for other move let me let let me identify it for you guys so that you can see and believe what i told you guys you see it's going to be a support move for what other trade you see on this particular level now we are having another new support on this zone you see it come to this place and you reject the what the the move back here you see it keep on selling down and it was moving on the what on the support zone before it has enough strength to break it down so immediately break it down i will only advise you to take your trade after the what after the breaking so that uh, it can keep on favor you guys if you keep on what keep on selling down up to this level before you can identify the second joints on the what on the trend line you see so uh we are having the what we are having the first joint at this side and uh, we are having the first se uh second joint here which indicates our support here so we don't need to identify that particular area again so uh we have another joint at this area which touch our our trend line here but we have already have a what a support level at that side so there's no need for you to worry about so what you just need to do is to keep on looking at the market and keep on checking which one fall on that particular trend line again so we can see now at this particular level now we have another one that reached that trend line so what do we do we uh we we only analyze that particular area too we analyze that particular area out uh to see you see we have identify e out uh we know that uh this market immediately reach this particular side is going to go on a uptrend so you can easily take your market uh, your trade at this level and catch up this spike up to this level and uh once you reach this particular level this particular level now will serve as another what another support zone for like this and uh, it keep on selling down and when you keep reaching the support area it keep on spiking up you see so guys this is how it will also this is how it always works for me so now let me show you the powerful strategy that i told you guys that always helped me to identify maybe this thing is going on a uptrend or is going on a downtrend so guys uh this is exactly the settings this is exactly the word the trend leader so i call it trend leader so trend leader always help me to identify my trade it always helped me to identify it. You see, this is from 1,001 hour time frames. And uh, it's giving me a, what, a downtrend at this particular area, which I know that that, mar that particular market is going on a downtrend here. Yeah? And currently now, we are having a, what, a uptrend 
currently now i'm having a what a uptrend that means uh according to my trade uh according to my technical analysis i'm having a what a breakout very soon but i'm not going to only confirm it on one hour time frames i'm going to go to uh five hour time i'm going to go to 15 minute time frames you see is an uptrend we are having the two confirmation of the uptrend you see i'm coming i'm having a what a two confirmation that the uptrend is what is very strong you see i've already drawn my analysis here and uh, i'm already gaining my what my pullback you see so it's moving on a what on the uptrend now and i'm going to check my five minute time frames to confirm it also you see i'm having a what a hop trend from this particular moment you have already indicated to me that this particular moment should be my entry uh, at this price as i've explained to you guys in the indicator you see this particular area is going to be my what my uptrend at that particular time so um guys uh, what i'm going to do now is to check my one minute time frames and check what is my update on one minute time frame you see now the market have already start is what is uptrend on one minute time frame so what this market will keep on doing is selling down little bit spiking spiking and respect it up to this world or this is moment so i know now that this market is going to what after reaching this particular zone is going to keep on what keep on taking up a what a spike until what until it's find its way around this particular side so you guys are uh, once again i welcome you guys to my channel you can uh if you are not yet subscribed to my channel kindly help me to subscribe it's going to help me a lot and uh yeah i want you guys to help me to likes and comment on my on my videos section uh if anything bother you if anything this indicator is not for free uh if you want to get it uh, have my telegram group on the on the group on the on the video description so you can reach us from there so you reach us on telegram chat up the admin only the admin chat up the admin uh thanks